Is that right? That's I think that's fine. Okay. I don't think we'll grab this body, but hey! Hey! Oh, baby, those sleek skills. Completely slick, dog. Alrighty. Welcome, everybody, to the Falcon One Shot. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman known as the Cleaner. That is correct. I'm a cleaner today. No, I'm not a floor cleaner. No, I'm not Mr. Clean. No, do not bring your clothes over to my house. I will not dry clean them for you. What I offer here is a service that happens to be going over to a crime scene and completely wiping it clean of any evidence against you. And that is what the game is all about. This is indeed the Serial Cleaner, which is a game that's um, still going through development. I do believe this is a build that was shown at PAX this year, and the developer sent me a copy to check out and show it off to you guys today. So just keep in mind, this is still a game in development, so we'll go ahead and check this out. Let's go into levels over here. We have a couple of levels to check out. I'm not sure if we'll get to all of them, but but we'll start off from the easiest one and kind of build ourselves up here a little bit so we can show you some of the progression here. So um, the first one's going to be No Sweat. Take all evidence from the scene. Join the cleaner as he does his thing during a casual job for the Mafia around a factory in the suburbs. Alrighty. This is uh, our dude over here. This kind of takes place in those 80s or 70s or something like that. So Homeboy over here has got some sweet ass little like um, sideburns going on. Got the entire like little hipster hippie look. Hipster hippie look is that proper? I don't know. Probably not. Anyway. As you can see over here, we have to collect a little bit of evidence and maybe even a body. Now, when we're walking, the noise that we make is actually indicated by a little, like, white aura around us. So, if we get too close to these guys, let me show it off just really quickly. If I get too close to them, uh, I, don't, I can't reach it right now. But if I was, like, walking behind them, right, he would hear me. Then I'm pretty sure I just bumped him, but I just wanted to show that off. So, there is a, a noise factor in the game which is usually indicated by the white aura. Anyway, right now we have to grab that piece of evidence and also a body up top, and there's also a guy over there patrolling around. And we can obviously hide behind certain things, make sure that the scope, that cone doesn't really spot us. Let me grab this. Uh-oh! <laughs> I'm not even here, buddy. You're probably imagining things here. Are you holding a donut? <laughs> he is holding a donut. He would be holding a donut. Oh, that would make sense. Cops like donuts, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I know. Oink, oink jokes. Yeah, yeah, let's get all the cop jokes out of the way. Now, we have to grab this body here. Now, the body will indeed arise a little bit more suspicion than, like, a piece of evidence. Like, if they spot a body missing, they'll be like, Wait a minute, there used to be a body over here. And they'll go and check it out. So, you definitely want to make sure that um, you're ready to kind of book it. And get to safety. So there you go. This is an easy first level, not really a big deal. Uh, dead bodies, pieces of evidence, and leave the scene. Let's go into the next one. Oh, don't be too sensitive there, game. I don't want to go to the menu. One is. Oh, this was the the. <laughs> this is like the the brawl at the. I guess training for some sort of like championship match, or maybe it was a championship match. I see a, a belt over there. Either way, it's a boxing match, right? Now over here, this will actually show us to the hiding feature. At the moment, you could actually run into a box and just hide when they're chasing you, and they'll just completely forget about you. So, I'm not sure that's going to be looked into in the future. I hope so, because um, it's... I mean, mind you, the game itself isn't too realistic, but I would like it if, you know, if you're running and you jump into a box, the cops won't be like, well, where did he go? I saw him jump into the box, but there's no way he could be in that box. So, I would let, like that to be, um, you know, taken care of. But um, at the moment, you can do that. I could just be chased, jump into a box, and they'll just stop chasing me down. Now this is, um, yep, this is a mission I had a lot of trouble with <laughs> off camera. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> these motherfuckers are gonna, yeah, I know, stop it. That's police brutality, man. What am I doing here? I'm just stealing evidence, but there's no reason, real reason for you to beat me down with your baton, you jerk. All right, let me grab this body here really quickly. This is one that I, I struggle with off camera so much, and it's not because it's difficult. It's just patience. It's a little matter of patience with this level, and I, unfortunately, am not a really patient bird, man. So, oh, oh. And I don't mean like Birdman, because I technically am a very impatient Birdman, but I meant like I'm not a very patient bird, comma, man. So I'm talking to you. You're you're the man in this situation. Although you could be a female too, but I'm using man in a general term, so you're not a bit too confused here. Is that right? That's, I think that's fine. Okay. I don't think we'll grab this body, but hey! Hey! Oh, baby, those sleek skills. Completely slick, dog. Alrighty. Well, I, I said sleek first, but now I went to slick. So we went from sleek to slick. Same thing, really, right? This guy, that's a, that's a sleek-looking jacket you got on. Or that's a slick-looking jacket you got on. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Um, let me go over here and just hide momentarily, because this guy's going to come around and probably spot me. I want to grab that boxer. And I do believe the belt should be somewhere up top. Normally, it's... None of you guys come in here, right? Like, if you come in here, you're posing a problem for me. Come on, keep walking. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here right now. You don't belong here. 
coppers. Well, technically you do, because it's a crime scene, but still, you know what I mean. Can I make it out of here? Yeah! Okay, all we need to grab now is a piece of evidence and we're out of here. I like how they haven't noticed the body's missing yet. Like, hmm... Could have sworn there was a championship belt here at some point. Could have sworn there were three bodies here at one point. Alrighty, so we're out of here. Good. That one were relatively easy. So, next. Now, these are the easy ones, mind you. Is this the one that I'm thinking about here? Oh, yeah, okay. This one's gonna take us a couple of tries. This might be the last one we do because it's gonna be kind of bad. I'll probably cut off some fails over here. Now, what you definitely wanna do is use the teleportation. It says teleport for some reason. I don't think you're literally teleporting. I think you're just walking through the building and coming out another door. But it says teleportation, so I don't know. I guess this is being wacky. I'm on top of a roof right now. Now, I'm not sure how the roof leads. Watch, well, check this out. That leads to over here. I don't know how that works out, but it does. And there's apparently like a some sort of satana satanic. I was about to say satanic. Satanic. Well, why would I even say that word? That's not even a word. Satanic? Anyway, there's a satanic ritual killing over there. As you can see by the salt of um, what might be the devil's face on that body that's been just completely torn up. So, you definitely want to come in through here because coming in through that front side is going to be really impossible. I'm going to be hiding over here. Now, over here, the salt has to be clean. It's also part of, or actually, the blood has to be clean for this level. So, we're gonna have to use a vacuum. It's very comical in that regard to actually clean the blood. But the vacuum does a lot more noise than we do just even walking around. So, you gotta make sure there's no cops around when you do that. Alright, so you took a little bit of a stroll, and now it's time for me to come over here and just move this. And now you're stuck over here, buddy. <laughs> oh, poor baby. I can't get in over here. Oh, I can't go back to my predetermined AI route. What do I do? Oh, we got some um, evidence here, which is great. Alright, so I'm making sure there's no cops around when I'm cleaning this up. I don't think you have to get 100% unless you want to, like, you know, min-max the level. Okay, let's just, um... Uh-oh! It's alright, coppers. Where could I have possibly gone? Hmm, I don't know, just one room and one container. There's no way he's probably in there, right? Nah. Oh. What are you doing? Don't... <laughs> don't go move that box away. Okay, I'm using that to keep your friend out. <laughs> that was kind of weird. I've never seen that happen before, so I was thinking he's about to, like, open it up or something. Uh, again, that's something I would like them to add. Like, a way for them to open that up after you've, like, fixed it or, like, moved it yourself. I mean, just for the fact it should be a bit more difficult than it is, you know. Alright, so over here I can turn on this, um, washer machine. Well, technically, I should... Where, which one is it? Where? No, that's to hide. Huh. Oh! Fudge! <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, technically speaking, uh, I guess it's kind of like random. Like, the levels can be slightly, slight variations to them, like where they have like containers at. Um, normally here in this laundromat, there's like a laundry you could actually turn on. Or a, laundry, a washing machine you could turn on, which will make a lot of noise and it'll attract all the cops over that location, which you could then use to sneak around. And that's what I was looking for, but I don't see that. Huh. That's very intriguing. I almost got caught through that, too. Alright, well, whatever. Oh, here! It's all the way over here? No, no. Yeah, that's it. Interesting. Alright, so if that's gonna be over there now, how do we play this out? Like, what I wanna do is get this guy on the left-hand side to come over here. Like, normally speaking, if it's in this room, they all come and gather up over here, which is an easy way to sneak out through the container up top. But... With the that's what I meant about the variation. The variation is now over here instead. Really intriguing. Okay, I don't even know how to do this. I don't even think this is even a good point to use it. I don't think we're gonna use it at all, actually. All right, so let's just happily go through here. Okay. Okay, we got this right now. We got this for John Madden. I need that piece of evidence right here. How fast do you turn around? Let's 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 time this really quickly. Uh huh. You do that, and then okay. Oh, right. I'm also cleaning blood, which is very noisy. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! There was some evidence here in the past. Okay, go. You turn around. Keep walking, friend. Keep walking, friend. Yep. Right, there he goes. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Now we clean a little bit. I need this body. So let me grab this body. Who likes to rock the body? I like to rock the body. Oh God, I got caught. Grab the body. Hide. And again, I would like them to grab the body and take it back where it should be at least. So it, sh it shouldn't be this easy for you, you know? Like, I shouldn't just hide here and get away with it. But uh, for now, it's, it's still a development product. It's a development build, so... You know, it's just showing off the basics. So I'm gonna open this right now. 
or grab the body, and then we'll... Oh, wait, 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 no, this is a bad idea. Homeboy over here will indeed try to get back inside the building through that garage door so he can go back to his route. So, <laughs> we gotta make sure he's far away so he doesn't <laughs> slip back in. Oh, jeez, man, I just wanted to get back in. No, no, you can't get back in. Go back over there and hang out with Donut Man, dude. Come on. Now, the homeboy over here in the bottom, by the way, that guy is a bit tricky. What he's gonna do is whenever he spots you, he doesn't chase you down, but he will, like, blow a bell. And he'll summon every single cop in the map after you, which is um, no good news. And, of course, there would be a body right in front of him as well. Um, I think we've gotten all the evidence in the stage, if I'm correct. The only thing we're missing is um, that last body right there and maybe a little bit more blood cleanup. Although, I think the blood cleanup is uh, optional for the stage. But we definitely want to grab those bodies. So, Whistleman worries me a lot. Ooh, that worked out pretty good. All right, come on. Come on, do it. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, come on, yeah, 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 don't tell me the Birdman can't clean the crime, oh, Jesus Christ, you would show up again, get out of here, Bernard, we don't want you here, <laughs> yes, I'm calling this guy Officer Bernard, get the hell on out of here, Bernard, open this up, grab this, oh, no, no, Bernard, you can't come in, uh oh, well, what happened here, oh, you know what it was, the, the, the door makes noise as well, um, I'm not sure, I, I guess I didn't spot the aura, but there's like a little bit of a, a there's noise made by the door opening, obviously. It's a giant garage door. Doesn't look too big to us, but believe me, it's damn big. That's what she said. Alright, let's open this up now, and... Grab the body. Oh no! No! You know what? Go, go back to your route if you want to, okay? You're just bothering me at this point. Get over there. There's nothing up there for me anyway. Don't you close that door. Hey, <laughs> come on, buddy. Stop jerking me around. All right, here we go. Wrap this body, put it inside. Oh, wait, 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 we're missing a body now? Wait, wait a minute, what? We are missing a body and a piece of evidence still. Oh, snap, son. Well, that's a problem and a half. Oh, that one right there, right, of course. Where's the other piece of evidence, though? Huh. Well, I am not too happy about it, because now I've locked myself out. <laughs> hey, um, Bernard, do you mind going back outside, dude? Like, it'd be a great... Yeah, yeah, go, 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 there you go, buddy. You're a good cop. You're a very good cop, Bernard. Don't let anybody tell you different. Okay, where's this other piece of evidence, then? Right, I need to get the, the satanic money up there first. Alright, Whistleman, go away. You are so good. Alright, so, we, we wait, now we go, evidence, evidence, where's this evidence at, man? Might be on a roof somewhere, actually, hold on, let me try something, ah! <laughs> no, I, and this just teleports you over here, huh? What is the evidence, then? Well, this is gonna be kind of tricky now. Come on, turn it back around. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, like normally they're indicated by those little. Unless, no, that was where the body was at. You stop it, whistle man. Hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm a bit perplexed. No idea where this other evidence might be at. So. We'll just get this body out of here and probably proceed. Don't think it's a bug, I just maybe I missed it somewhere. I'm gonna go to the first building one more time after we get- Oh, come- Dabba! Whistle man, please! I'm over here trying to, like, you know, think how to get out of here. Well, not how to get out of here, but find that last piece of evidence, dude. You're not doing me any favors here. We should spawn over here on this side. Okay. Yeah. Oh! I had a feeling. Well, there it is. We got the last bit of, bit of evidence. Salt. <laughs> yeah, I'm slightly salty right now for not knowing about that. Time for us to go. Alrighty, and we cleaned enough blood, it does seem. All right, let's check out the next one over here. I don't think we'll have enough time for this one, guys, but I'm going to at least show it off here before we book it. I do believe this is the last one of the uh, little packs build, anyway. 
So that guy's gonna chase me down. Uh, this guy, this um, cop with the black uniform, he actually is a lot more active than the other ones. He patrols the entire stage, it does feel like. He normally runs as well, so you can't really trick him too often. We have Whistleman over here. This is normal song and dance. Uh oh! <laughs> yeah, the black uniform cop doesn't mess around. But there you guys have it, this is a serial cleaner. I'll have all the information for it down below if you want to keep your eye on it. Fun little title, I will catch you next time.